right, how's it going everybody? So today in this video, I'm gonna be pretty much showing you how to do your idle air control valve in a, like a 2000 to like 2006 range Silverado. I don't know if there's any difference like in between there as far as like kind of based off of like maybe what truck you have. Like if you have like a work truck or like a base or LS model or LT, I don't think there is really any difference because it's just the engine um, that you're working with, not really so much like the body or anything that's like the difference you're just trying to you're trying to back up it shakes so we're gonna be trying to figure that out and trying to see what's what's going on with it so All right. so I got my truck here so try to make this as best a video as I can the truck it so it runs really really good and it idles okay it's not that big of a deal like it's nothing like too out of the ordinary where like the idle gauge is like going up and down up and down up and down but it, it it does like do this thing where like when you're when you're just sitting here uh and like the trucks run or the trucks just sitting here and then you, you go into reverse and like you start kind of turning the wheel the, the rpm like drops like way below like 500 600 range to like four or three which like is not necessarily like i'm not necessarily saying that's like out of the ordinary because you know, you have to kind of take in consideration of like, obviously like your turn, like your power steering, taking power from the engine when you're turning. But I think it's, I think it's the idle air control valve. So I'll show you guys how to do that and I'll show you what's kind of going on here. So the reason I'm also replacing it is because it's just, it's like an old part. It's like 20 years old or so. It's never been replaced. I've took, I've taken it out like once or twice or no, I've taken it out only once and we try to clean it with some like throttle body cleaner, which helped. It really did. Like it helped with the idle, it helped with like when I was turning, it wouldn't drop. It actually did something. It didn't like just not do anything. But now it's kind of getting to the point where cleaning it wasn't enough. So now we, I just have to replace it with a brand new AC Delco G. But I'll show you anyway. So it'll be easy, trust me. It's not. It's nothing too crazy. And it's just like a good maintenance thing to do. So might as well just do it. So like literally now that I'm trying to show you guys this, this issue, it's not going to do it. it I, I've been sitting here for like 10 or 15 minutes trying to get this truck to do the problem that it's, I've been kind of complaining about, but it's not doing it. I don't know why it won't do it now. And that's just frustrating. So anyway, I'm just going to show you guys how to replace it just because it's a good thing to replace. I already got the part. All right. So tools that you're going to need, you're going to need an eight millimeter. I have a impact, I don't have an impact, just use a wrench, or not a wrench, a ratchet and a socket. But I have my impact, so it's gonna make this a lot easier. There's a little eight millimeter right there. Oh. You're just gonna take that off, pull this cover off, and then that right here, that is your idle air control valve. Like I said, it's easy. It's got two torques on top, and then one on the bottom under here and then just this clip and that's it. So I'll show you guys kind of like what it's gonna look like. So I'll get that out. All right, so now I got this out. It wasn't that hard. There is two screws for each of these holes and it's right there, like I said. So just make sure if you're gonna use it um, or make sure if you're gonna do this, just make sure you have like a magnet because the screws these are the two little screws, or those are the two little screws. And it's really easy for this bottom here, one here, like if you're not paying attention, for it to like drop and, you know, be gone forever. So just make sure you have like a magnet at the at the ready. I didn't need it because I was like being careful and holding on to it. And if you're like that, then you shouldn't have any problems, but just, it's good to have a magnet next to you. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna clean up like this hole a little bit here, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the new one in but here's the old one so you can kind of see like it's it's pretty hard to push like and I don't know if you can hear it on camera it, no, I don't think you will be able to hear it but it's pretty stiff and I think the new one's also kind of stiff too so I don't know if that's just how it is from factory but it just looks bonk it looks really gross and really old so I think it was time to replace it so I'm just gonna get that cleaned up and uh, we'll get the new one in and see what happens. All right, so this is the new, this is the new one right here. That's the part number. So it's, it's a GM AC Delco part. Um, 
I went with this just because I'm a I'm kind of like a stickler on using GM stuff on my truck and just on my stuff OEM parts. Just want to know it's gonna last as long as it the other one did. So let's see if I can get this open here. So this is the new one compared to the old one. So you can just kind of see. Let's see if this will. Yeah, see that one's already kind of stiff. I don't know. I don't really know. But hopefully it works. <laughs> I don't know if it will. <laughs> hopefully it will. But I'm sure it will. So let's just uh, throw it back in there. All right. Well, we got it back in there now. Um, I also didn't mention these torque bits. Torque Torx bits. Whatever you want to call them. Those are like a T20. Um, I think, yeah, T20 or so. Let's see. Or I think they're, yeah, they're a T20. Uh, I didn't have a T20, so I used a T15. Lucky enough, they were lucky enough, they were loose enough to where I could get them and I didn't have to like strip it out. So I got them with my T15. But those are a T20, uh, just so you know. So yeah, all you need really is um, an 8 millimeter on a ratchet or an impact gun and a ratchet with a, a torx bit a t20 um but yeah so i'm just gonna turn it on and see if it actually works or not see if there's any codes or anything can't imagine there would be but that's how you do it it's really simple so do it on your truck and see if it works for you 